I like about a, uh, the approach that you uh, give a score to um, when people are coming out of the, the encore rotation is that I think answering that question, providing sc the score actually provide opportunity to be more aware of the uh, where you are in terms of energy level and knowing the, the possibilities. Uh, and I have a really good question on that. I think that's a good example of, well, after uh, the energy audit, the calendar audit, you get rid of a lot of meetings that are red. The example you mentioned is turning something draining to energy draining to energy generating. Do you have other examples that are typically not something on the calendar, but it's really good to have? Yeah, so there's definitely, um, in my last organization, I think this is true for a lot of engineering organizations. Uh, if you're an engineer in an organization, you do a lot, of, and you're doing a lot of software development, like one calendar on your, one meeting on your calendar is terrible, right? Like if it's in the middle of your day, it splits up your day and you end up saying, well, I was, in, I was trying to get work done and now it's enough to stop. I have to go to this, this silly meeting and now my entire flow is disrupted. So you can actually do the opposite of this, which is just block out your calendar. Right, and say, hey, you know what? We're actually going to block out this time for heads down time. Sometimes uh, in my last organization, we had no meeting Wednesdays where we'd actually say, look, this time isn't to be allocated just to whatever someone else might want. This is to actually create space for people to do other things which are important for them for generating energy or to do uh, critical work for them. That might not be a meeting. And this becomes more and more relevant um, when you end up being in one of those roles, which has fewer meetings and there's more like hands-on work that you need to do.